Welcome to another video in the series Developing Applications with SharePoint 2013. This video covers creating workflows in SharePoint 2013 using Visual Studio 2012. SharePoint 2013 workflows are powered by Windows Workflow Foundation 4 or WF4. WF4 is built on the messaging functionality of Windows Communication Foundation or WCF. The new workflow infrastructure introduces Windows Azure as the new workflow host. The workflow execution engine now lives outside of SharePoint in Windows Azure. In the previous video on workflows, we looked at how to use Visio 2013 and SharePoint Designer 2013. Now with this video, we're going to look at how to create workflows in Visual Studio 2012 with its new workflow designer. This designer creates all the markup we need to create a functional workflow without using any code. Okay, I've started Visual Studio 2012. Let's create a new SharePoint app project. Click on New Project. Expand the language. I'll choose Visual C Sharp. Then under Office SharePoint, choose Apps. And then App for SharePoint 2013. We'll name the project. I'm going to name it HR Employee Resumes. I'm going to create a library of employee resume documents. Click OK. Now since we're creating an app for SharePoint 2013, we can also use a different name for the app if we choose to. And I'll make this a little more friendly. Just put some spaces in here and spell out employee and resumes. It defaulted to the developer site I've used in the past, so let's validate it. It works. It also defaults to auto-hosted, which is not what I want. I want to host it on my local SharePoint servers. So I choose SharePoint Hosted and click Finish. It's creating the project. It opens up to the default. So again, quick review. If the employee ID is not greater than zero, create a task and wait. If it is greater than zero, write it to history. Call our WCF data service with the employee ID. If we come back with a response, parse it with get dynamic value properties and update the list. Okay, let's build it. It works. Deploy it. Deployment worked. So I'll bring up the browser. Navigate to the developer site. Click on the SharePoint app. HR employee resumes. Enter credentials again. Now alter the view one more time. Get rid of those extra columns. And then upload a document. Same one again. This time I'm going to go ahead and put an employee ID in of 1 and save. And there we go, it worked. Employee ID 1 is me. All right, let's alter that. Going to edit the properties, put in number 3. And I can put some 